Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Argo Academic Care. I'm here with the model answer of the sixth week English version physics assignment of class 9. We will see the question at first and then we will explain the model answer. Uh, one thing to say at first. Uh, please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on the bell button if you don't want to miss any notifications. So here we have the question of 6th week assignment of physics English version. The question says there is a body which has a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius and a mass and it was dropped into a aluminium calorimeter of 50 gram mass. The temperature is given and it has a water of 150 gram water and there has a mixture of the calorimeter aluminium and the water which has a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Now the specific heat of the body which was first dropped is given and also that of aluminium is given. So from this data we have a few questions to solve. Let us look at the questions. Here the question says at first what is heat capacity we have to define why water remains cool in an earthen pot or pitcher explain calculate the released heat by the body we have to calculate from the given data and we have to explain if the data supports principle of calorimetry or not we will solve step by step each and every questions now let us look at the question. Okay, on screen you have the solution of first question which was what is heat capacity. There is a definition for heat capacity. The amount of heat required to increase the temperature of a substance by 1 Kelvin is called heat capacity of that substance. So this is a definition from your textbooks we have collected and you can follow this one or you can also follow it from your own textbooks in your own way. And the next question was in earthen pictures why water remains cool. I'm placing it on the screen so you can see the entire one of the answer. You see in earthen pictures there are innumerable pores, there are very small pores in its body and since it is made of earthen so water kept in it tries to get out of this, uh, this small pores, Thus, uh, they try to seep out of these pores and so they need to be vaporized at first so they take this energy from the entire water of the container and then they get vaporized and evaporation occurs from these minute pores and the remaining water inside the pitcher those loses the heat energy remains cool so the water droplets which or water molecules which attain this energy from the entire water uh, leaves the container so ultimately the heat is released out of the container so here is the model answer you can follow this one I guess you can see it in the screen so you can also pause the video to collect the answer so we move on to the next question before that we check the data given in the stem again here we have to calculate the heat release by the body the body mentioned at first which has an initial temperature and a mass and after putting into the calorimeter it has a final temperature now we have to calculate from this information about we are, we are also provided with the specific heat of the body so we have prepared the answer with at first we mention all the data is given the mass of the body given also they have given the specific heat of the body we have to convert the mass into kilograms so we place so we can place every values in SI unit we have the initial temperature of the body and the mixture has 30 degrees Celsius so, so all the objects or substances in contact they are in the mixture will have 30 degrees Celsius so we have written the final mixture temperature and this is the final temperature of the body also now we have seen that the final temperature is less that means the body which was mentioned in the stem from 120 degrees Celsius lost heat and ultimately became 30 degrees Celsius so it has lost heat we have to find out the released heat so the released heat we have the formula Q equal to ms del theta here del theta is the difference of temperature we have to take the positive value of it so we will sub subtract the subtract the greater value we have to subtract the smaller value from the greater value 
so it will become positive and the resulting value will be a released heat here you can see on the entire answer is on the screen you can see that we have taken the data and then from the formula we have put the values and then ultimately from calculator you can find this result and also to mention here the temperatures are in degree celsius but the difference of degree celsius temperatures and kelvin temperature is the same the values are not same but the difference is always fixed so we can easily write from degree celsius to kelvin so the answer is in joule i hope you can see the answer let's move on to the next question the last question was does the information support principle of calorimetry we have to mathematically show we have some data we have a lot of data here you can see we will at first write these data in order first we write about the aluminium the mass is given we have to convert into kilograms specific heat of aluminium was given in the stem initial temperature was given and final mixture temperature is the final temperature for all the bodies because this is in an equilibrium so every object will have an equal final temperature next we have to also mention the data for water here water mass is given we have converted into kilograms so we can place it in si unit specific heat is also given initial temperature final temperature this was uh, this was collected from the stem this is because the initial temperature of the water was 20 degrees celsius and final temperature will be 30 degrees celsius because this is a mixture and an equilibrium mixture so final temperature is seen higher than aluminium and water that means the water and aluminium both has gained some heat we have to calculate the gained heat by individually two bodies and then we will uh, compare it with the lost heat by the body so here we have calculated the heat gain by aluminium, the heat gain by water just in the formula. We have to take the positive value so we will always put the greater values first and the answer will be positive. And the resulting Q1 and Q2 will be the gained heat. The sum of these heats will be the total heat gain by the calorimeter. You know the calorimeter is constructed with the, both the aluminium and the water in it. So. Here water and aluminium has gained this much of heat and from C we can see that uh, the body which was placed in the calorimeter has lost some heat. So in the final result we can see that both the heats were 6750 6, joules. So we can see there were if there were no loss of heat so total released heat by one body is gained by other bodies. So this was the principle of calorimeter. So from above data we can say that the information in the stem supports the principle of calorimetry. So once again if you look at the total answer we will find that we have figured out the data from the stem for aluminium and also for water. Now one thing was from our knowledge that is the specific heat of water is 4200 joule per kilogram per kelvin. This is a uh, this is from our memory we have to collect it this was not mentioned but we have uh, we have to write it and then we calculated the total heat gain by aluminium was q equal to ms del theta we have to place m s and theta according to aluminium in case of water we have to place according to uh, according to water and finally we have to uh, take a sum and then we have to compare that the heat loss and the heat gain by other bodies was 6750 from c we get it is 6750 so this and this are equal so at the end we can say that loss of heat by one body and loss of heat uh, and gain of heat by other bodies are equal so the above supports the principle of calorimeter calorimetry so that is the end of our model answers for our physics assignment i hope this helped you a lot and now you can follow this model answer in your own way and I hope 
you can make your own answers and your assignment by your own way after watching this video so thank you for staying with us please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed yet and stay with us thank you